Papua New Guinea is a country that contains some of the planet's most extraordinary biodiversity sites, sites that are national treasures to PNG and its people. One such national treasure is PNG's Lake Kutubu region, a vast area of wetlands, grasslands and rainforest. Located in the Kikori River Basin, Lake Kutubu region forms part of a vast protected area that stretches from the Kandep district in Enga province, Nipa Kutubu, Komo Magarima, and part of the Hela province in the north to Kikori in the Gulf province in the south. Lake Kutubu is home to more than 200,000 inhabitants that are predominantly rural communities with very diverse and rich wildlife landscapes and cultures. The Kikori Basin, a tentatively listed UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to the world's longest lizard, largest egg-laying mammal, largest pigeon, largest moth, second largest butterfly, and the iconic bird of paradise. Lake Kutubu, PNG's second largest lake, is a Ramsar-designated site and home to at least 12 endemic fish species. However, Lake Kutubu region with its unique biodiversity and significant landscape is increasingly under threat. These threats include over-harvesting and exploitation of local resources, high carbon emissions, pollution, and unsustainable land use practices brought about by development and increase in population. International Conservation Organization, WWF, is therefore adamant in protecting such biodiversity by supporting communities to respond rapidly to such threats. Such innovative approaches and partnerships between WWF and communities have resulted in more than 2.3 million hectares of Papua New Guinea's landmass come under various forms of conservation management. WWF hopes to continue to build strong network and partnership and focus in the next three to five years to respond to these threats and be able to gain enough support and recognition for the Kikori River Basin to get state endorsement as a UNESCO World Heritage Site nomination from its current tentative list status. This is one reason why WWF chooses to work in Kikori River Basin, including Lake Kutubu region, to build empowered and resilient Pacific communities living in their unique culture to conserve and manage our ocean, forests and rivers for improved food security, well-being and a sustainable future. One of the ways WWF encourages local communities to preserve and celebrate the importance of conserving these protected areas is through the annual Kutubu, Kundu and Digaso festival held in the remote Daga village in Pimaga Station, deep in the Southern Highlands province. Um, in 2010, WWF and the local communists initiated a small theater group as a platform to, to and awareness about the environment, uh, promoting uh, preservation of local culture and and also doing awareness about the environment, conservation, sustainable resource management. So the theater group was formed and then annually we've continued supporting that event. And uh, however, <coughs> when we were in the process of supporting, it sort of gained interest from the, the communists as well as the industry uh, the stakeholders from the LA Kutub area, the Southern Island from Hela. And then we also had a good support from the Tourism Promotion Authority and National uh, Council Commission. And eventually, by 2017, we had the the event uh, been recognized as a national event. Since its inception in 2011, the festival has provided the opportunity to increase economic and training opportunities for more than 40 local communities from Bosavi, Kutubu. Kikori, Hela, Nipa, and throughout PNG. Adding to this is that nearly 60% of participants are women. With Papua New Guinean communities traditionally male-oriented, the festival also provides the opportunity for women to participate and at the same time look at revenue-generating opportunities. Janet Bariki from Gulf is married into Kutubu and has lived here for more than 20 years. She is the chairperson for the Local Widows Association 
and shares how the festival has benefited the women of Kutubu and their families. The festival brings together participants and visitors within PNG and abroad with the opportunity of sharing and understanding of cultures and the fostering of friendship. The locals are a passionate group of people who have taken this familiar route the last seven years, laddered with food and traditional costumes that include giant headdresses, just to be part of the festival. They are led by Max Sigalo, the chairperson of the Bosavi Cultural Exchange Group. Bosavi Kamlonga. Fogumayu and Nala village, Miss Abrusim, and six hours walk. Na Fogumayu come to Waro and Nalbla Awa again, and six hours. Brooking Wara, Bibla Wara Kikori, and me hard to. But Miblas are make use because um, culture and environment is our step close to one that you mean. Mibla, you saw a Mibla seems strong on an environment. So that's why all Kutubu, Kundu, and the Gaza Festival, the Amumaslo invited me, the Misa come, the promoting culture of me go out, expose him go out, where all some man in the can look him. I was in the community, and me want to all Misa about him, festival. Because me, all the something me, similar boost now, Logan Logan. I'm also am supporting me. So, me is supporting festival. All the something me working here. I'm me no buy lost store. Oh, I'm no one but factory mate. I'm all the something, all the something I'm no mix similar boost for me. So, all beginning too, then behind all come up too, all up. Five more something lost to her. Okay, it's simple boost now, okay, more something. The yearly event has brought tourists from all around the world to be part of a unique cultural exchange and display of fascinating traditional sing sing and cultural dancing. Henrik Moller Nielsen from Denmark was thrilled to be part of this biggest cultural gathering in the Highlands. I've traveled all over the world over almost a hundred countries and I've never been to a place like this before. You really feel the people. Sylvia Holzhammer from Switzerland learned about the festival through the tourism promotional website. I came all the way from Switzerland, Zurich, um, to attend this festival. I'm super excited. It's amazing, the energy, the energy you feel. The Kutubu Kundu Digaso Festival is a celebration of the two different types of kundu that the Foy and Fasto people use for ceremonial and initiation ceremony. So you holding me and the whole same we buy them stuff. The kundu is very unique. Uh, they have two different uh, forms of kundu. Um, uh, two both having a meaning of uh, uh, healing, uh, medical healing, uh, behind it, and also they have. Uh, uh, a very unique kind of displays with the kundu. They have two forms of kundu. Uh, the other one is called the short added kundu and uh, fish tail kundu. Um, if you see uh, the groups that will be performing today, um, they will be perform performing these two different kinds of kundu displays. And the kutubus uh, believe that these two different uh, types of kundus that they play is very unique <coughs> from the other places in the country. And also, 
the Digaso itself, why the name Kutubukundu and Digaso Festival. Digaso is actually the name of the crude oil that's extracted from a native tree around here. The three-day event, held from September 22nd to the 24th, featured an array of colorful traditional sing-sings and cultural demonstrations ended with canoe racing on Lake Kutubu on the third day. <laughs> Organizers are keen to add canoe racing on the lake as one of the main features of the festival. The festival in turn plays an important role for communities in the protection of their wildlife, landscapes and unique cultures that draw visitors to the Lake Kutubu region. Lake <laughs> So, I'm spot fine. This was on the 50 kin now. I must be like my kin. I'm putting them in. I'm supporting the community. Next time we play walking on Lily Walk or some refreshment. I'm going to play around the walking awareness. I'm going to bus. I'm going to buy a bus. I'm going to buy a fish. I'm going to buy a big one. I'm going to buy a big one. We got him water good. We uh, were there long late to not cut him. And long, also pretty fine, this little water, and I didn't say, and we all fish by gone, I put him egg, and this little so. No can bagger up him water. No can throw my rubbish. And people are when it's blessed, I give him long a lot. The Kutubu Kundu and Digaso Festival is a unique partnership that works for the local communities, tourism enterprises, government through the ministries that support environment and tourism, conservation NGOs like WWF, and key stakeholders working in the region. However, the sustainability of this story will need long-term commitment from the government, either national or provincial, and important partners to affirm that whilst development priorities is focused in the region, there is also a need for balance in the preservation of culture and biodiversity values so that their stories, songs and dance can be told and performed for many more years to come. <laughs>